setting up the patient list in Prime Suite for clinical access. In Prime Suite, the patient list, patient list serves a variety of purposes. Number one, shows you a list of patients for the day. Number two, it allows you to customize the information so you don't see all of the provider's um, information for the day. And number three, it allows you to set up a navigation tool so that whenever you click on the patient's name, it either takes you to the check-in screen, to the clinical portion of the, of the chart, which is the chart, or to the charges page, depending on your job function. So you will always start with system default. That is a system menu that we cannot delete, but we build on that. What system default will always show you on the patient list is every patient coming in for every provider under every situation. For example, some patients might have canceled or no-showed or rescheduled. System default will show me every single patient. Okay, in order to eliminate that, I want to create my own filter. So I'm going to go to this little upside down black arrow. I'm going to click on it. And the first item that I can modify is the columns that I'm looking at. So for example, these columns right here. Let's say I don't need patient ID. I don't really care about that. Let's say I don't care about visit ID because I'm not a biller. How do I get these things out of here? And more importantly, how do I add the things that I want? So in that upside down black arrow, you're going to see the list of columns. Number one, to not select a column, or to get rid of a column. I just deselect the box next to it. Visit ID is for billing purposes. I don't need it if I'm an, if I'm an MA or a nurse. So I just deselect the box visit ID and it goes away. Time out. I really don't care when the patient gets timed out in the system. So I get rid of that. I do want to know time in. I don't care about the date that they're here because my patient list only shows one day. So I don't want to get rid of the box pay appointment date though because the system won't know how to sort. So I want to just move this down. So instead of getting rid of a box, you can also just take that section and move it to wherever you want. In order to do that, I click on the words. When I click on the words and I get this gray bar here, now I can use these two arrows to move that bar up or down. So I want date at the end. This is just something I've learned over time. If you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to put it there. But I put date at the end. Now I want time in right after the appointment time. So patient was supposed to be here at 10 a.m. They actually showed up at 10.30. I want to know all of that. So I click the words time in and I move time in right after patient or appointment time. So now I've got appointment time and time in and the patient's name. Now we don't take pictures in the clinic, so I'm going to deselect that box. I don't care about my patient ID because my patient ID is always next to my patient's name. So I personally don't care about it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, And then I have all of these other items below that have no boxes selected. One of the ones I do want is chief complaint. Okay, when I click the box for chief complaint, it shoots up here automatically because it's now becoming part of the checked boxes. Okay, um, So now that I've selected it as a box, it automatically highlights and I can move it wherever I want. So patient name, they're here for new patient appointment with this complaint. They're here to see so-and-so person who is a provider for an office visit. Okay, So you can go through and you can enable or disable boxes. Likewise, you can enable or disable the filters. So for example, resource. Resource is the person or persons or things, a room or a chair, that is scheduled for that patient. So resource can be MA, it can be lab, it can be injections, etc. Care provider is the actual person or doctor who this visit will be billable under. So because these have little filters or martini glasses to the rest to the left of them. I can click on resource in the martini glass and I can see the doctors that are in my clinic or the resources, excuse me, the, the persons or the things that, are, that have a schedule in the system. So I only want to see Dr. Gallego's patients, so I click Dr. Gallego and hit OK. Now I will only see Dr. Gallego's patients in this filter. Okay, so I want to go ahead and go back to normal. I want to see everybody. So not selecting somebody is the same as selecting everybody, so there's no reason to click on everybody's name. Okay, number two, displaying patient list. I want to know everybody that's here except for the people that no showed, rescheduled, or canceled. So if that's the case, I want to click on the ones I don't want to see so that they're light gray. And the ones with a darker gray, I will see. Unchanged means the patient has not come in yet. Please don't ever unselect that or deselect that portion right there. Right below that is visits without appointments. Those are walk ins. Go ahead and leave that box checked and leave it the way it is just in case someone accidentally walks a patient into your clinic. 
you, you won't see them if you don't have this selected. Visits from a previous day are all the visits that were not checked out of the system previously. Depending on the job function, you might want to leave this. If you're a biller or you're an administrator um, or you're maybe a supervisor, I would leave this box checked. If not, I would uncheck the box. It's up to you. And then block time, if you want to see uh, that a doctor's block time, like when they're not going to be in the office because of a meeting or something, then make sure you select that box. The most important thing is number three, navigation. This defines what happens when you click on a patient's name. Does it go to the charges page if I'm a biller? Do I go to the patient charts if I click on the patient's name? Do I just want to click it once to go to the patient's chart? Do I want to go to the check-in screen if I'm a front desk person or I'm a registrar? Or do I want to go to the information screen of each patient if, if I register patients all the time? For MAs and nurses, you're always going to click this bullet right here. Go to patient charts, parentheses, single select. Okay. Under number five, save, you are going to highlight the name system default and you're going to type in a name for this filter. My list is fine, or you can put your name. Okay. Once you put in the appropriate name, you can hit the save with the plus. Save with the plus means you're adding a brand new filter to the system. If I go into this filter and I make minor modifications, but I don't want to save another one, I want to keep this one, I'm going to hit the save without the plus. Notice that I cannot hit the save without the plus the first time because system default needs, needs to be changed to another filter. So you'll get the hang of that, but make sure that you put in your name, you hit the save with the plus, and then you hit the, um, it'll say save successful, and then you hit the lightning bolt and it'll load the filter. Okay, now whatever, whenever I click on a patient's name, it will take me to the chart. The other thing I can do in here is I can, well, now that I've selected the columns that I want, I can minimize the size of them, just like Excel, by clicking on the column in between, so the divider in between, and dragging the column closer together. When I do those kinds of things, after I'm done with all of the columns, I want to right click anywhere in this section right there, and I want to save those widths so that I don't lose all the work that I just did. Now when I click on Jesus' name, it takes me directly to the chart and I can work on the patient's face sheet.